Lord, today I come to you with great humility, my beloved and eternal God. Every morning, at the beginning of each day, I come to you with the hope that you will always shelter me under your mantle. For those who rest in your lap, there is no need to be afraid. I feel the need to get up at dawn and pray to you. Lord, you guarantee those who listen to me that you will deliver me from all destructive plagues. You save me from all evil and protect me with your protective shield. Your wings guard and protect me from all evil influence. No pernicious pest or plague will reach me, as you are with me and will appear before me. Similarly, at night, I come to you, Lord, and humbly pray, seeking refuge that can only be found in you. Not even the plague that walks in the darkness, the love and kindness that prevail at noon, can harm me, for I believe that only peace will remain by my side, as you are with me. You are omnipresent, and all those who try to harm me will fall. Their right hand will not be able to reach me with their evil. Oh, my Lord, open your arms and receive me with you. Give me your security at all times, and thank you for your mercy and kindness. I also ask you to bring me abundance, not only material but with love, tolerance, trust, and determination. I ask you, my Father, to open the way for me so that no stone can appear to make me stumble, nor will envy prevent me from succeeding. You know that my professional triumph will ensure survival and give my family what they need. Keep the angels by my side, for there is much evil in some hearts. The lion and the viper will be taken, and they will never harm me. I will be a living proof of your magnanimous power and will testify that this invocation is true and effective, for every time I am with you, I become stronger. Every time I feel your hand, when I receive what I ask for, I feel your protection. When I turn to Psalm 91, I feel an unstoppable power. We have no curses, diseases, or envy for I know that you are with me. When I feel or have any illness in my body, I know that you will be with me, for you protect and care for me because of my blind trust in your power. While I receive treatment from men, you also come to my healing with that inner strength that you have given me. When I falter in health situations, I will only turn to you because you love your children and protect them, but you also give them the love, comfort, and health they so desperately need. My family and I have everything we need, peace and quiet. Nothing can harm us, neither disease nor the harmful influence of enemies. We do not experience any defeat because you, Lord, are with us. At the end of each day, I will have the certain victory. Nothing will defeat me, neither by day nor by night, because I believe in you, in your goodness, and in the magnificence of your love. I am a testament to this, so I can speak of your power and your greatest love for illnesses. My beloved Father, I trust in your power very much, and I am sure that you will heal me. But I am afraid, Father, for I am an imperfect human being, and I am aware that life is an unforgivable desert that we must cross. We will encounter a thousand obstacles, thirst, hunger, pain, and anguish, but we will always find an oasis to go to, but if our heart is with you, nothing will knock us down. With you, we will learn to appreciate the warmth of the sun and the freshness of the night. Therefore, in the face of illness, I know that you will be there waiting for me to comfort me in your embrace and help me recover from my ailments in the desert that life sometimes becomes. You give us the strength to water the plants with tears and make them bloom. That is what it is. The great power of your unconditional love gives us the seed of your love, which blossoms within me 
proving that with patience, all seeds can germinate. We are flowers in a desert, and with God's love, we will always defeat drought. You give us strength to endure the storms of the desert. I will endure this illness because I know it will make me stronger. I accept your gift of healing to testify to your goodness. I know, Lord, that your mercy is infinite and that you intervene in the actions of doctors and nurses to restore our health. You help them and give them the skills and wisdom to fulfill your mission. I thank you for your mercy and for renewing me. When you intervene to heal me, both in body and spirit, we have the strength to move forward and rejoice in your goodness. Help me to always fulfill my duty to you and bear witness to your power. Shield my body, keep it healthy and strong because it is my temple, and I need it to honor you and testify to your immense goodness. Jesus is proof of your power because he endured immense pain with great dignity to give his life for us. Therefore, Lord, I go through this suffering and offer you my heart as proof of my immense love. I come to you, my Heavenly Father, humbly to relieve my pain and suffering, both physical and spiritual. I know that much suffering has its roots in envy and the bad influence of my enemies. Expel them from my presence and show me your goodness in all moments. This is a prayer to break curses. Loving and Heavenly Father, I come to you and kneel before your throne to thank you for being my Father and my Protector. Thank you, Lord, for hearing my prayers. Thank you for all your blessings and benefits. Thank you for your protection and your true shelter. In your anointed blood, we are washed, blessed, and protected from all curses and envy. We will count the blessings and your powerful name in our mouths. We will be forever away from all evil in the name of Jesus. We are determined to fight against evil and curses that may fall on members of our family. Through prayer, we will be able to uproot, undo, deactivate, and break any trace of curse that seeks to affect us with death or any other evil. This can tempt and affect us with scarcity, pain, failure, illness, or destruction. Any person or entity that tries to harm us will be defeated. Trying to bring any kind of curse to our house will now be neutralized by your power, Lord. The intended curse ceases to be a curse as blessings neutralize and remove its influence. They do not prosper, do not reproduce, so Satan cannot use them against us. Your immense divine power destroys and annihilates all evil and all hierarchies of hell. Determined to end this curse, I cast them out of our lives. With the help of the Holy Spirit of every person who listens and prays with us at this moment. I implore you, Lord, to fill us with your strength to destroy this evil, any demon directing curses crushed by the power of Jesus. Any spirit, any evil that flees and goes unnoticed, our family and we will be blessed beyond any work of evil or witchcraft. No witchcraft can intervene in our peace. Holy Father, give us strength, Lord, do not let us stay in captivity. We implore you to protect our soul from any negative influence, break the chains of evil, and set us free, for you are great. You are the King of kings and Lord of lords. Lord God, I believe in you and in your Son Jesus. I believe in your sovereign power with which you come to save us. I invite and implore you to come and undo any evil spell, whatever my mistake is, forgive me, Lord. I open my heart and soul to you so that I can see my sincerity and enjoy your infinite mercy. And if I deviate from the path imposed by you, then I will accept any punishment that they put on me because I must be consistent. 
I will do good to receive good. I withdraw any bad word I said against someone and ask for forgiveness because I do not want to suffer any curse that brings poverty, illness, or difficult situations, Lord. Nullify any spell or curses, enchantments, and all evil. Lord, break now all traces of negative influence in our lives. Help us align our body, mind, and spirit in you so that we can achieve perfect balance to keep ourselves well and follow your light. Lord, you defeated Satan, and I know that you can do the same with the enemies we have if we ask with faith. When I ask for forgiveness, I open the door to mercy, cleaning my sins, and purifying them with the blood of Christ, for forgiveness breaks any curse, and the curse is exterminated. We reject any possibility of negative energies acting in our lives, and I know, Lord, that we achieve this through your Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, we now renounce all evil alliances caused by our sins and those of our ancestors, so all spells and witchcraft are impotent. All curses, vice, perversion, abuse, poverty, and failure will be out of our way. Lord, cancel any possibility of falling into temptation in any of these mortal sins. Amen. Thank God for this prayer against enemies and envy. Dear Heavenly Father, at this moment I come to you filled with joy and gratitude in my heart, for you always give us more than we need. You gave us the opportunity to live in this beautiful world, and you also give us your love and guide us every step of the way in our personal and professional lives. You are always with us, and what a joy it is to experience every sunrise with the hope of having another blessed day in our lives. Therefore, we thank you for this wonderful life, for our family, for blessing us with good health, for our home, our work, and for all the blessings to come. I kneel and pray to you, Lord, for although you have given me everything I need and more, I have a request that has been weighing on me. Dear Father, please remove from my life and from the lives of those who hear this prayer, all malicious people who, with envy and negative intentions, bring problems and create bad situations against us. Blessed and merciful God, cover us with your mantle of light, your infinite love and understanding, and keep all those wolves who pretend to be sheep away from us. Protect us, Lord, from all the hatred that hides behind a smile and disguises itself as friendship. Open our spiritual eyes, my God, so that we can see what we sometimes cannot. We know that your infinite kindness can touch the hearts of all those people who are sick with hate. Help, Lord, to convert their hearts so that they can find the path of good and transform their lives. Therefore, Lord, we ask that fulfillment comes with work. Joy and great rewards are the result of work, dedication, respect, love for others, and fear of you, Father. We cannot reap what we did not sow. For my part, I will continue to do everything you have taught me, my Father. I will do my best and live every day according to your precepts and rules. I know that you are with me and always by my side. I trust that nothing bad can happen to me because you protect me, dear Heavenly Father. I ask you for strength to continue even in the midst of difficulties or adverse situations, for with your grace, we stand firm. If you are with us, nothing will be lacking. Thank you, Lord, for answering my plea and for keeping your promise alive in my life. I pray to you to obtain your protection against the dangers that sometimes lurk from enemies who come in different forms and situations and inspire us to follow their example. May your blessing always be with me so that I can avoid everything that puts me in danger. Help me, Lord, so that I can avoid dangerous situations, 
poverty, and problems in life. If you took care of your son after he was sacrificed, it is because your heart is full of love and compassion, especially for those who are most afflicted. You are always beside those who are departing from this world and anyone who is going through health problems. Therefore, we appeal to your powerful intervention, to your light, Lord, for you are our God and our Father, our Rock, our Refuge, and our Salvation. Hope is in you, Lord, and knowing that you will hear our requests, grant us this grace that we humbly ask for, especially for your glory, O Lord. Help us to banish from our presence anyone who seeks to harm us and also our family. We promise to live and die as your faithful Son Jesus did to attain the happiness of eternal life. Amen, thank God. Prayer for Protection I invite you here, beloved Jesus, to be by your Father's side to defend me and remove from my side any evil, danger, or negative influence that would affect me or my family. Remove from us all malicious temptation. Protect us, Almighty God, from all external violence, injustice, abuse of power, and betrayal. Defend me from envy, evil, hatred, and selfishness so that all these do not have the strength against the happiness that you deposit in our lives. We thank you for all the special care that you have dedicated to us. Thank you very much, my beloved Father. We exalt you, Lord of good. We say, Lord, this is why I strive to give testimony of my life and the graces of which I am the object. I feel honored to receive your favors because you are the King of Kings and your power is infinite. Your presence has been proven for many centuries where you have dedicated yourself to protecting your children from all witchcraft, evil, and curses, and all negative aura. You bring us strength and courage to achieve victory over our enemies, whether in body or spirit. I know that you send protection angels around us. You camp angels by our side. They cover us with their wings and carry us in their arms. They keep us away from all evil and danger. They undertake their actions like a celestial army. They cover us in front, behind, to the left, and to the right, above and below. God, let your soldier of light swing his sword to cut the enemy and protect us all the time. Powerful Father, guide our steps so that, by your grace, I can accomplish great deeds that will make me worthy of your blessings. Grant me, Lord, your patience and love so that I can forgive everyone who has wronged me. In this way, I will be fulfilling your precepts and laws and also carving my way to eternal life. My Lord and Redeemer, defend us in the fight, protect us against all evil influences and against the lurking of Satan. Manifest, Lord, your power. This is my supplication to you because I know that in your strength, you expel the wicked and his subordinates from my life. All the evil spirits that roam the world and work constantly, God is present in me. My God, my Jesus, guard my spirit, Lord, not only during sleep but also in every step I take. Therefore, my Father, in any attack that I suffer in darkness, I will consider your merciful protection mine. In the name of God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear God, I lift up this prayer to you, Holy and Almighty Redeemer. I recite this prayer with complete faith, knowing that you take good care of me and my loved ones. My full trust resides in my heart, so nothing, not even my life or my family, is unprotected. I live under your shelter. The Most High is my dwelling place. 
I abide under the care of a holy God. I am in your shadow. Your wings protect me. I declare that my hope is in you. I proclaim that you are my home and shelter. My expectations are in your love. I see a horizon of peace because you are with me. Confidence fills me when I am in your presence. You are my castle and fortress. God of eternal peace and love, all-powerful supporter, I know that these words have reached your holy throne. No bond can stop me. Nothing can harm me if you are with me. The hunter does not scare me. I live in peace only for you. Thank you because I know that you hear me. Your ears are ready for my prayers, dear God, excellent and wonderful Redeemer. No plague will come near me. Your feathers always cover me. Loving and warm Father, you fill me with your divine light. On your powerful wings, I feel safe in the face of any danger. Your shield truly protects me. Your shield frees me from any persecution. I have nothing to fear. No danger can reach me. During the night, I am at peace because no terror intimidates me. In broad daylight, I feel calm because the arrows do not touch me. They cannot harm me. You divert them. You remove any impasse from me. Problems do not make me uncomfortable, even those that walk in darkness or those that appear in broad daylight to destroy the children of God. Whoever wants to do evil to the left or to the right, whoever wants to make me stumble to the right and to the left, thank you, my beloved God. All those who conspire against me will not prevail. Their feet will not stand or affirm. They will be removed, and my eyes will see them fall beside me. No harm can reach me. They have received their reward. For each of their works, they will be confused and bewildered. Therefore, their plans will not prevail. I will witness your reward because God is the creator of good. He will not allow his children to be defeated. He will not allow the actors of the enemy to triumph. I will be justified. I am not afraid of any known or unknown enemies, of any bandits. Your love is faithful and eternal. Your faithfulness never fails. You fought the good fight for me. You do good works for me. There is no one who can defeat me. The enemy will be destroyed. Satan and his wicked hosts will fall. I have no doubt about that. You send angels to take care of me. You protect me with your goodness. Your love is my best dwelling place. Your strength makes me grow, and staying with you, nothing has the power to scare me. If you are with me, your breath will carry me. You are the breeze that takes me to the good port. Thanks be to God, beloved and all-powerful. You are my hope, my God in whom I always trust. You cancel out evil. It does not reach your children. I am fully certain of this. My spirit rejoices every time I pray. In all moments, I know that you remain with me. No matter how difficult the problem is, there you are. I can feel you. Your angels also remain with me. There is a fence around me protecting me, guarding all of my ways. Your protective hands are my help in difficult times. The Lord leads me with them so I won't fall into any trap. My feet tread firmly, no matter what obstacles arise in my path, which is why I don't stumble. 
I can walk my paths because the Lord guides me day and night, and His light shines on me even when I'm in darkness. No matter the situations or problems that may occur, the Lord is with me. The Lord controls all events and anoints my head with His love. He fills me with hope and fear disappears because He is by my side. I declare that you are the God of my life, and my eyes will see no harm. No curse will affect me, and all affliction will disappear. Any road I walk on will be protected because your angels will be with me, like powerful archangels. You hear my prayers from your throne. Dear God, excellent protector, you protect me from everything I cannot see, from illnesses and harm. My body is healthy and full of energy, and my steps are confirmed by you. You keep me away from bad people and all those who work for the enemy. Their attacks in the darkness and corners do not scare me. I have no fear of their evil actions, those who like to hurt and speak ill. Their lips are ready to deceive, and their words are sharp daggers that cut. Lord, I ask that you keep me away from them and attract only good people to my life. Build a wall so they cannot reach me because they only know how to do evil wherever they go. Let me be victorious, and my eyes see the reward of the wicked, for you are my highest light, holy beloved Heavenly Father. They will be crushed like instruments of evil. I have put my love in you, and that is why I know that you will set me free. My faithfulness in you is complete, and my faith grows in my mind and soul every day. When I call upon you, Lord, you always answer me. You never leave me alone, even in times of distress. I glorify you and declare that you are my Almighty God, who fills me with abundant life and shows me your glory and salvation. No one can scare me, not even spiritual forces or invisible beings or the wicked. Complete peace is in my being, and nothing will touch my house because you encamp around it so that it will not be an object of harassment. My house is guarded on the left and right, up and down, wherever I am, I feel safe. Thank you, my God. I close my eyes with confidence, and I can rest assured because you are here. You hear my prayers day and night, and even when the sun sets, you are still there. No matter where I am, I have peaceful dreams, my soul is calm, and my guardian angel is here. I will have total rest so that when the new day comes, I will feel rejuvenated. No matter what happens, although shadows may come, your light always shines in the darkness. I have no doubts about it, so please remain with me always. My soul remains calm, and my heart is silent in you. Presence Eternal Beloved Redeemer, I declare that you are my God, that you are always benevolent to your children. I never stop being by your side, I always bow down to you. I praise you with reference, I live under your holy will. I declare that you are my place of peace where I want to remain forever. I have full confidence that you will never fail me, even when I am wrong, you do not abandon me. When I stumble, you forgive me with your infinite love. Therefore, evil cannot trap me with its snare. The hunter of souls cannot reach me because you always cover me with your wings so that I am protected. Then nothing can harm me. I always remain safe. Thank you, my eternal God, strong and firm rock, I cling to you. Your plenitude fills me, you are my refuge and support, the reason for my existence, and the light of my soul. You fulfill the requests I make because there is nothing that is impossible for you, O God. With you, I find the peace that I need. 
I remain safe in your hands. Only you know everything that I need, all my desires and wishes. That is why I hold on to you. My hands hold on because you are my salvation. Lord, please keep in mind the needs of my family, everything that they need today and always. Protection and care, shelter and strength, according to your perfect will, grant us our requests. Do not let us lack provision for the necessary goods, nor spiritual food that nourishes and makes our inner selves grow. May your healing hands be upon us so that nothing touches us. Remove every storm from our lives with your actions, and let calmness be our support in every moment, so that my soul can rest and my loved ones can always be in full peace. I never tire of worshipping you, Lord. Your being never fails. I will continue praying, seeking you on your holy throne, declaring that you are my almighty God, that nothing can prevail before you. There is no opposing force that can resist you. You are the plenitude of life. All enemies become silent and they move away with your wind. You take them away from my existence. Thank you, my dear God. My feet are firm, you are the guide in each of my steps. You allow me to achieve the goals that I have set for myself, and you will allow me to reach each one of them because you have blessed me with wisdom. You have filled my gaps. You fill every part of my being with your love. My feet are always firm towards the purpose you have for my life. Keep me in that objective that you have set for me. I want you to use me for good so that you will bless not only my life but also the lives of others. Lord, do not let anyone lead me to a bad place. If I do something wrong, bring me back with love so that I do not get lost with those who do wrong. Always draw me to you, my sublime God. Thank you, my Father. Take care of my coming and going. Lord, as soon as I open my eyes, I come to you, Father. My steps lead me to the place where I lift up my prayers, where I kneel to speak with you, my wonderful Father. If I am with you, there is no room for fear, anguish, and anxiety. They cannot reach me or fill me with their shadows. You fill me with abundance in every sense, and no matter what happens, your protection is my roof, my home, and my safe place, where I always feel secure. That is why I always feel victorious, I am well in plenitude, and I remain today, lifting up my prayer as an offering to you, Lord. They will reach the holy throne unimpeded, as there are no obstacles because my love for you, Lord, is complete and true. You fill and protect me with your shield, your divine shield is my custody, my cape during the day and at night. You deflect the enemy's arrows, so they never reach me, my refuge, and savior. No matter what happens, you will keep me safe from any trap. I never doubt and never tire of being before the Lord. I reflect and meditate on your works, on each of your perfect and wonderful words that fill my heart with plenitude. They nourish my being like spiritual food, and I lack nothing if you are with me. I live happily when I am by your side, and I always go safely so that wicked men do not stay around me. Nothing will resist you with your power, my God, and I am calm, I have everything with you. I do not need anything else but your magnificent love. I know that I will have what I asked for, Lord, just as you gave me sweet promises. You are a place of peace and my exalted high home, my beloved God. Plagues are gone, scourges no longer exist, and there is no place where your presence fails. 
You reside in every corner inside and outside of me, and your ears listen to every request of your children with love. Your arms carry me when I need it, you heal every one of my wounds, and you are always present in difficult times. I feel you in moments of happiness, you wiped away my tears, and your heart, beloved Father, is eternal adventure and powerful. Thanks to God, because your hands guide me, that's why I don't doubt your love. The wicked will fall and see their reward, they will choose the works of their hands, the fruits of their actions. You will not spare us the consequences because you are a God of justice, exalted, all-powerful, and faithful. Therefore, I know that soon I will declare my victory because the Lord fights for me with strength, and your celestial beings will never leave me because my faith is in you. The day begins and ends with you. It starts with these prayers, my eyes open eagerly to your wonderful works in the sky. You created love and beauty in plenitude, and I am happy to be with you before dawn to declare that you are the supreme and eternal being with marvelous plans for my life. This is my sacred and special moment. You are peace and life, and I stand before you with love and devotion. With full humility, I place each of my requests before you because I know you take care of me. I am filled with harmony and happiness at every moment. You are the armor that protects me, and I rest in you. I have peace that surpasses all thoughts and situations. I am like a bird that flies against the contrary wind, knowing that you lead me. Therefore, I know that I will reach my destination without obstacles if you are with me. You are my refuge and horizon, the place where I go and the one who makes me smile. In my heart beats an eternal and reliable refuge. You have known my name since I was in the womb, and you will not leave me abandoned, even in the hands of my enemies. You train my hands and feet, so I will fight the good fight without fear and with full confidence in your promises. I will conquer all that you propose for me. Your words are like poetry, and you extend my days by your mercy so that I have a full and prosperous existence. I apologize if I have failed. Even with my thoughts, I can sin, but when I confess, you forgive me. Even though I am weak and imperfect, I cannot stand before your face. But you are a perfect, loving, and sublime God, a wonderful and excellent Redeemer. Thank you because you do not abandon me. Thank you because you are faithful. Thank you because you have honored me. Loving, faithful, and sublime God, every night, you cover me so that I may be confident. I know that the new day will bring great blessings, and just imagining it moves me. Everything you do is for my good, and I live under your care, protection, and custody. I rest in safety and tranquility because I am safe from dangers that I cannot see. You never stop taking care of me and protecting me. No misfortune can reach me, and bad situations are far from my existence. Even if they come close, nothing will happen to me. My eyes are fixed on tomorrow because I will see everything I ask before you. I will be blessed and prosperous, and no evil purpose will harm me. I walk among them, and they do not touch me. Thank you, my God because you are here, and there is nothing that can make you falter. You open new doors for me, and tomorrow is always my victory because I am always in prayer. I never tire of asking, dear holy God, and declaring that you alone are God. Like the angels before your glorious throne, I thank you for everything, my Father. Thank you for your infinite faithfulness. 
I am eternally grateful for your love and mercy. I am who I am. Amen. Dear Lord, I entrust my beloved children to you so that you may guide and direct their lives towards a bright and sacred destiny from your hands. I know that only you can save them, only you can deliver them from all evil, and only you can keep them under your mantle to protect them from all harm and danger. I pray to you, Lord, to keep them strong and firm during times of temptation and confusion that may come their way. Walk with them, hold their hands, and illuminate their paths with your wisdom to make the best decisions and maintain clarity during their most challenging moments. So that they may follow their paths without regrets, always under your holy light and divine protection, putting them above everything that is not eternal. In this way, they will have a joyful and willing heart, a simple and holy life with values and responsibilities, goals and dreams. An unwavering faith, and they will delight in your presence with your Holy Spirit strengthening their lives. Especially during times of darkness and sadness, knowing that you are their strength and their Savior. Only you, Lord, can protect my children in all moments because you are holy, and only you can open the heavens and illuminate with your light. As a member of the church and mainly from my family, I know that only in you can I trust to protect my children because I trust only you to keep them safe. With your power and magnificence, Lord, you can deliver them from any danger, as if you were with them because you are a father. And you created your son, Jesus, and you raised him to the heavens by your side. Therefore, I believe in you, and my children will be safe in your presence. I trust that you will never fail, and you will always have them in your right hand. When it is time, you will take them to heaven to be by your side as if they were with me because you are everywhere, omnipotent, and the Savior. The lives of my children are intertwined with you because I declared it since they were born, since they were conceived. I gave them to you, their bodies, spirits, and souls. Above all, my Lord, I ask you to protect their hearts, not to let any evil spirits or dark forces enter their hearts, making them hard and insensitive. Instead, make their hearts pure and strong, able to resist all the temptations present in their paths. Our Holy Family is always gathered in your presence, and we want your Holy Spirit to always be with us. Please allow us never to lose our firmness in faith, to trust in your spirit and the power of prayer. Help us in difficult times, during moments of pain and anguish, and guard us with the protection of your hand, Father. Plant our feet in your path, envelop our home with your light, and even though there is darkness in the world, may our home be an example to follow, an example of your teachings and guidance on earth. The power of your Holy Spirit that can reform and build, and fill us with peace and joy that sustains us in all moments because we are your children. And we know that our human strength is nothing compared to your power. Therefore, I know and my children only need your protection to be sure and be happy. Dear God, Bless my children on their paths. Bless them on their pilgrimages so that they may be free. They have no ties in their spirits, nor in their hearts, do they always praise you. Let the ungrateful be grateful to you, O Lord, and to their parents who strive to give them the best and guide them on the path of faith in Christ since their birth. We raise our children with full faith that they will grow up to be good people, but above all, that they will be holy people, a hope with kind and firm hearts in the face of temptation. 
with unshakable values and strength to always praise you. I thank you, Lord, because in our family we can look to you. We know that everything is ephemeral except for your Holy Spirit. Everything is temporary except for your mighty hand that puts everything in its place. No matter what happens, you are our Father. You sent us your Son, the Savior, and your promise is still intact. That is why my children are yours. I entrust them to you, Lord. Do with them as you will. Move your spirit in them, protect them. They are the most sacred thing I have. They are my treasure. That is why I know that with you they will be safe, not only physically, but also in mind and spirit. Transform their hearts for you, O God, so that they do not get lost in the dark, seeking relief elsewhere. Because everything else is false, only you are true. I want them to worship you, Father. I want them to seek you in times of despair and to glorify you in times of glory, because your power, Lord, is throughout the earth. I thank you, Lord, for all the love you have always shown my family, especially my children. You have shown them that in difficult times, you have been here, transforming their weaknesses into strengths. I deeply thank you and ask that you take care of them in life. I know that you will surely be there for them when they go into eternal life, because they will be by your side forever. That is how you will give them your eternal love, because you will call them. Guide them to a full life filled with your love and mercy, always in your presence, always in front of your eyes and within our hearts. So that our family never separates and we can always be together with your spirit guiding us at all times. And may you enter the hearts of my children and surround them with your love, so that they receive all that you have to give them so that they may live everything that you have reserved for them and recognize in them your will. Hear them when they call you, Father. Protect them from the cold that may be in their hearts. Protect them with your word. For your word is their help at all times and will be the relief that their hearts need when they feel down from the blows of life. May you pass your hand over their heads when I cannot do it, so that they may feel the comfort of your love. Which is an infinite love like the one I feel for my children. Make their eyes turn to your presence. Let them praise you, worship you, honor you, holy God. Let them listen to your word that gives life. May your eyes see all that the Lord does for them so that they may not doubt that the Lord is their Father. Their Savior and that his light illuminates their paths when they walk in the shadows. May the Lord protect them with his mantle from heat and cold, and may his mercy cleanse all their sins, shining perpetual light upon them. May they seek your counsel and make the most of the days that come for glory. Lord, you know well that my children are everything to me, that I would give my life for them and that my family revolves around them. When they are not at home, I worry in anguish over their safety. That's why I entrust them to you, Lord, because I know that with you, I need not fear. With you, they will have protection on their journey until they return home. That's why I never worry. I have infinite confidence in your power, your power of protection and salvation, which makes all your children safe. My children are safe with you, Almighty Father, and for that, I thank you. I thank you, Lord, on my knees, for all the times you have protected my children, blessed them, and been there for them through sickness, fear, and despair. You have always walked by their side, comforting them in pain and cheering them with joy. Always hating them with your presence, for who better than you to care for them, 
heal their fevers, and embrace them. No one else, Lord. No one else has your greatness, your power, your love, that infinite love that works wonders for us and will always be my comfort and help, Lord God. I want to thank you for coming to this earth and choosing us as your children, Lord, for I know that this is why you love us unconditionally. You only want us to follow you, to let us follow your path, so that we can hear your word and the light that illuminates the world. May my children see this light, may they hear your gospel, may they have a true heart for you. I want them to know your light, Father and to receive your salvation, to be illuminated by you. To stand before them clearly so that they may know you, may love you, and may call upon your name every day, recognizing you, God, as their only Savior. This is my desire, Lord, that my children see you as their Father, that they desire your presence in their lives. And that they surround themselves with your wonders, contemplating the beautiful work you have created because you created everything. The sun, the stars, everything beautiful, and you gave me the most beautiful gift of all, my children, who shine in my house and make it brighter. A more beautiful life because of this I thank you every day, Father, and I ask you on my knees to take care of them and bless them always. My children are growing up, learning new things, exploring their identities. I ask you to grant them your grace, to give them good thoughts and clean minds, to let them shine with good objectives, and to always use them for your glory. This is my greatest desire, that all your gifts and blessings be used to praise and glorify the Lord and to walk under your guidance. Because in the Lord we feel safe, we feel protected, we have everything and more. That is why we do not want to stray from you, O Lord. Our family is centered around your presence. We raise our children to follow all your rules. Lord, never leave us and always be with us, enlighten us with your light, protect us from the storm. Without you, we will be lost, thrown to our fate, with nothing to hold on to, with nothing in our hands. Only your love can save us, set us free, protect us. My children will have no better protection than yours. Only the Lord gives us unconditional love, an infinite love that will never end, that will always be with us and will never leave us. That is why we cling to the Lord with all our fervor because we know that the Lord would never let us go, no matter how far we fall. The Lord will always be waiting for us because you are our Father, our Savior, our only strength. We love you, Lord. You are the pillar of our family. That is why my children are in the best hands with you, dear Heavenly Father. I know that you are present in every step we take, in every path we walk. There is no one better than you to grant us what our hearts desire. And you, Father, know that my heart's desire is for my children to be protected and healthy. Only you can grant me the greatest desire of my heart because my children are within me. And if something hurts them, you will take care of everything. I could not bear to see them suffer, so I implore you to take them in your hands and always keep them by your side. Keep them always to your right, always with you, because it will be as if I am always taking care of them. But I cannot always be with them, so I trust you, God. I have no doubts, Father, that your love for them is as great as mine. That they are in your heart as they are in mine. Because you see them with the eyes of a father, just as I see them. You are everywhere. And where I cannot be, you will remove all danger that I cannot see. You will be my voice when they cannot hear me. You will be my arms when I cannot hug them. 
You will be their companion when I am not close. You will give them all your love with the same intensity as I do. You can take my place and do everything that I do, but better, in a much better way. That is why I always thank you that my children are safe by your side every time they leave my house. I place in your hands, and I know that they will always return safely because the Lord makes them come back to me. And when they leave my home, I know that your presence will never leave their side. So I will be at peace, waiting for the day when they will return to the home where they grew up and learn to love you infinitely glorious Lord. Now I want to thank you for the beautiful and wonderful children that you have given me. I could never ask for better children than the ones I already have. I know that you have chosen me to take care of these wonderful beings here on earth. I know that they are angels from heaven that you have brought down to this plane as a gift to me. For which I am deeply grateful, because they are people covered by your grace. Every day. I am surprised by all the things that they learn and know, and I know that it is because of you. Because you have bathed them with your spirit. The Lord has given them all of his gifts. And you have given me the order to educate them properly so that they may spread your word throughout the world. So that they may follow your commands, so that they may live under your guidance. And so that they may build a home based on your laws, because this way I can show you how grateful I am that you have given me this wonderful gift to take care of these people who give me joy and satisfaction every day. That is why I kneel before you, O oh Father, giving you infinite thanks for giving me children, and I know that the Lord takes care of them and blesses them. Lord, bless our family, may you provide us with everything we need, and with your help. May we be a holy family worthy of your being, an example to follow. That is why I thank you, Father, protect us from all evil, bless our home, bless my children, and all of our family. You know my children, they are the most sacred thing that I have, so in your infinite mercy, I ask you to always take care of them, keeping them under your wing at all times. Amen. Dear God, with reverence, come to you now. I need you because I am in a difficult situation. I am subject to forces that I cannot see or perceive. But I know that you will save me from them with your love and protection. I want your power to cover me. You are stronger than this evil. I believe in you, my beloved God. Help me to be in your presence, so I lift my eyes to the sky. I know as Psalm 121 says that you will not let me fall or slip. Thank God for that, he is always ready to hear me. Send warrior angels and powerful angels around me to protect me from those. Those who work against me, those who plot their schemes who use Satan and his accomplices to harm me, send them away from me so that I do not receive any damage. Even when evil pursues me and harms me, you break the spells of evil and the words of declared evil. No matter what I do or say, I know that nothing can harm me because you are a powerful shield. No one will touch me with evil. I ask that every evil spell cast upon me be removed from my existence. That no assigned spirit may harm me, that all evil acts and covenants be broken. That any invoked curse and action supported by the enemy that would touch and harm me be dissolved. I ask you to enlighten me with your light so that the shadows of evil disappear 
to break all blood and water pacts. Total or partial burning of every burial, ritual, and magical action regardless of its nature. In the name of God, are nullified at this moment. They have no power over my life and the life of my family. You, my God, protect me from all evil that torments my existence. From now on and forever. You will always be by my side. Do not abandon me in this situation. I am in your hands. No Santeria spell with Urea will have any influence over my belongings. They are protected, as well as my work and my loved ones. My belongings should not be threatened, evil spirits do not come near. Nullifying them is important so that their power does not have influence and does not bring destruction, harm or disturbance. The plagues invoked against me do not prevail. During the day, I am protected, and at night, taken by the protective shadow. Your presence never leaves me, your wings cover me. You are my shield and my guardian. In you I am strong, my God. No spell can bother me, the named spirits have no authority, so you keep them away. You strengthen me, and I will not fall in fear. Nothing can overcome me because you are near me. I am strong because I am by your side, I do not weaken, I do not fall before evil. Your children are protected. Thank you my beloved God. I invite the protective angels, the powerful warrior Archangel Michael, to fight the battle for me. I declare that your celestial hosts and armies fight for me. I know that God's powerful blue rays protect me. Just as every evil thought directed at me fights against the sword and reduces all evil. Evil beings do not prevail because your great power surpasses them. You open my eyes. Spiritual ones so that I may see iniquity and move away from it. No witchcraft can prevail because you are with me. You are my refuge and you will not let the wickedness of Satan overcome me. With the power God has given you, fight this battle and break every spiritual action of the enemy. You will take me out of this situation victorious. Nothing can discourage me, and I will not faint in fear because even though I do not see my assailants, they seek me out. Grant me your grace, Make me invisible to evil, O powerful messenger of God. In you, I always trust, for the Father has sent you in his infinite love to be my guardian and protective archangel. God sends you to me, you transform all negative into positive with your violet ray, change the bad in my life, and free me from the burdens of people. Perverse people try to hit me with curses, but they are prevented. Every word I speak is a blessing, for I do not participate in these actions. By the side of my God, I achieve what I desire and declare that all spiritual work is nullified by the power of the Archangel who protects me. I thank you, beloved Archangel Tzadkiel and Jophiel, powerful and exalted. Open my perception so that I can protect myself from the evil of spiritual beings and negative people who gather to invoke evil upon others. Help me to stay away from these beings, allow me to identify any object in my house that has been cursed and that may harm me. Let me remove it from the environment, destroy it, and block its action. Free my life from its influence. I thank you, for I know that you will not abandon me. I stand before you, my God, 
knowing that my appeals and words reach your ears. You move your powerful hand in my favor, so I break the evil. I know that you break every spell, no demon, even if high in the hierarchy, will cause harm to my existence. As Psalm 46 says, you are my refuge in these troubled times. Although everything is dark and evil and shakes my life, nothing can destroy me, for you are at my right hand. My helper, protector, and zealous father, even when anguish assails me. I trust that I will overcome this situation, for nothing is above your throne and evil has no power before the dominion of God. All spells are broken, and my heart is at peace. While some invoke evil, I strengthen myself and avoid such negative actions, for God is always with me. May your light shine on my path. I thank the Most High God for always guiding me to the right destination and for protecting me from harm. My God, keep away the envious people who seek to harm those who wish well and only know how to create evil. They hide in the shadows and disguise themselves in winding paths, deceiving others with their masks. For they like to dress in light to deceive the unwary. Open my spiritual eyes and do not allow me to be ridiculed by them. Keep away these hidden enemies that are all around me like snakes waiting for the moment to strike. My beloved Creator, when I least expect it, you are my greatest refuge, as the Psalm 16 says, and deliver me from all evil deeds. I cling to you like a strong rock. You are the power that rescues me. With this prayer, I invoke your strength to break and destroy the curse of jealous people. Who work in darkness so that the light of their bad actions causes destruction and harms the lives of others. In my work, around me, and in the neighborhood, keep these people away and break their wicked works that Render null every word spoken about me or my life, day and night, on the street and in my house. May your hands not tremble to create problems, may God be my shield against these evil forces that work for Satan. Your lips are ready to utter lies and your actions aim only to destroy others. Protect me from these hidden adversaries who know how to create plans without my knowledge. Their strategy is to harm without considering the well-being of others. Consider all the consequences, nullify each confusing action so that their fury won't reach me. No matter how hard they try, because you are with me. You give me the wisdom to feel them to know who they are before acting. So they can't confuse me. I won't walk in their paths of evil, won't stumble into their traps, and they won't be able to harm me with them. Consider all the consequences, nullify each confusing action so that their fury won't reach me. No matter how hard they try, because you are with me. You give me the wisdom to feel them, to know who they are before acting. So they can't confuse me. I won't walk in their paths of evil, won't stumble into their traps, and they won't be able to harm me with them. As Psalm 23 says, You dress my table before those who would cause me harm and anguish. You bless me with your grace. You lift me up and dress me in the presence of the afflicted, proving that evil does not prevail. The great God of heaven is more powerful than the spiritual hosts, all the envious are subjugated and their actions are nullified. Thank you my God, my beloved Creator God, you will always be by my side, so confident I am in you. Your presence, I'm not afraid my heart won't faint. As I cry out to you in my steps, 
like when Moses parted the sea with his power. Then you create a way for me in this moment, even though everything is dark. The light is with me, I love you Lord, you are my strength. Declares Psalm 18 incessantly proclaiming that you are my refuge and shelter. My Savior, the high place where I go so that the enemies may not. They will prevail against me because you never leave me, you are always there and I lack nothing. You manifest yourself in my existence. You are in every step of mine and fill me with blessings because everywhere and at all times you help me. You are glorified. My God. You have filled me with blessings. All witchcraft, evil, and harm are nullified. Your grace is upon me from all blessings of. Above your grace, it still sustains me. Nothing can defeat me. Your holy power dwells in me. It is the engine that drives my life. You give me victory over the enemy. I will defeat him. They cannot prevail against a child of God, creator of heaven and everything that exists on earth. In you, I believe. In your disguise, I rise. You give me courage to win this battle. Nothing can touch me, I am always in his presence. My prayer, I know the Lord has heard. With faith I will proclaim that I have been rescued from Satan and his demons. Of all those who work for him, and for him, under his shadow, I will be unshakable. Spells will be uncovered, none of them will fulfill their purpose, they have failed. Those who invoke the curse upon me, with their powerful armor, I am covered with his wings, I cover myself. Refuge, my faith grows stronger every day. No matter what happens, for good or for bad, firm, strong, powerful, wonderful and merciful. Omnipotent and exalted, eternal Father, you redeem me from all evil. My feet do not stumble in straight paths. And I will always walk the right path. I will always have three, and the answer I hope for leaves no doubt in my soul. My love increases every day, and the emotion does not falter. Your seeds prosper because your response is always close, it strengthens my soul and fills me with peace. The tranquility of knowing that you are with me remains. You show me a smile, the tears you wipe from my face, that's why I always come to you. Overcoming what is stronger doesn't matter if I stay in the shade, I know you will light up my path. I don't get lost in the north, morning star. Protector and guardian, may your angels whom you have sent, your archangels protect me. May my guardian angel accompany me, I am not alone. The great power of God surrounds me like soldiers who fight for me to grant me what I ask for. I feel complete security in you, and no evil work that has been done will affect me. I proclaim your name with strength to the four winds, and with full faith, knowing that soon I will receive my reward. Understanding that every curse is lifted, this prayer is answered. You never fail me. You fill your children with love. Everyone should see the work. Tongues will be sealed, every malicious word will be silenced. Those who practice evil will have their reward, they will be silenced. They will see testimony of your power, of the care that you give to those who love you. Thank you, my dear God Father for fighting for me. I am powerful in you. I am weak as a human, 
but in you my spirit is full, my heart is at peace, and my soul is clothed in joy. I will soon have my answer declared. My enemies will see the outcome, while I receive peace and tranquility. Rest will be my reward for the rest of my life. Spirit is the gift, I will be filled with blessings and I will accomplish everything I set out to do. My highest God, I ask for your blessing with strength so that nothing will incorporate into my path. I will witness your power and the enemy will hide from you. He will flee and will not prevail, just as Michael the Archangel threw the devil and all his evil hosts out of heaven. I believe that my eyes will see the inevitable defeat of the envious, who will receive the fruit of their seeds and their reward. My eyes will see your acts, observing your blessings as a child of God. I will receive your love and will continue to ask about good and evil before you. The defeat of the enemy is imminent and every harmful spell will be blocked. Evil intentions will be cancelled, and a strong wall surrounds me because you protect me and my house. Thank you, my beloved God, I appreciate your help. I will never stop praising you, and I am grateful, my Almighty God, in you I trust. With love, I will never stop praying and will raise fervent prayers to you. Amen. Lord God, today I kneel before you and through my prayer, I place my trust in you. My heart is open to receive your counsel. Above all, I ask for your forgiveness for each of my sins. I offer my life as a construction and dedicate part of my time on this earth to you. To give my testimony that you have worked in me since the moment I was conceived until today. Lord, you have been an active witness to each of my errors, anxieties, fears, failures, sufferings, and ignorance. But also to each step I have achieved, each success, and each joy. Of my triumphs, I dedicate to you, Almighty God. Have mercy on me and keep the enemies away from me. May every addiction and negative thought that wants to invade my mind be dispersed now. God, free me from any seed of sinful nature. Wash me with your blood, my body, and my soul, and with that. My body and soul will be purified so that I can start again without regrets and without any resentment from the past. From today on, I renounce all hatred in my heart. I forgive all those who offended me, who embittered my existence, and tried to hurt me. I forgive those who cursed me and spoke ill of me. Just as you, Lord, who forgave my sins, I too must forgive those who wronged me, for I must imitate your infinite mercy. Lord, send your Son to me. Jesus, more than any other, experienced firsthand what it means to forgive those who disrespected his ideas, who mocked and beat him. And he killed him. There is no greater demonstration of humility than Jesus forgiving his enemies. Thanks to him I live intensely the word Lord I accept your plans as a sign of obedience. Please stay by my side Lord Jesus teach me to be humble and obedient. Show me how to be resilient how to face any difficult situation throughout this new year. Fill me with your light flood me with your kindness and do not let me be separated from your faith. My heart and my whole being converted from the moment of baptism where I surrendered my spirit and soul. To your infinite grace that grace that the Lord gives to all who become his children through faith. 
Lord Jesus come and guide me and hold my hand in this new phase that begins. Grant me the success that I long for. Lift me up when I stumble and fall and I ask you Lord to allow me to reach all the goals that I have set for this new year. Show me the way and let me find my north. I am aware that along the way there will be many obstacles and it doesn't matter if I fall and even if I get hurt because I know that everything that happens to me will be planned so that I can become stronger. I promise to try my best, I just ask that you encourage me and fill me with your strength every time I want to give up. That you be by my side. Come heal my wounds so that I can continue on the path to success. You know Lord how important this new year is for me. My mission in this world also includes my personal goals, without forgetting you Father, I have a The responsibility of succeeding because there are others who depend on me helps me make the right choices. Lord do not let me make the wrong choices in the face of a dilemma. Guide my hands and my steps and lead me directly to success. Do not let my heart faint for a minute if there is an obstacle. Let me overcome it so that you may show me that your glory is present with me at all times. I have no secrets from you, here are my plans and I present them to you. Bless them, Lord and I will let your will be done. In this new year, I want you to take my intelligence, my skills, my resources, and my will and place them on the winning path. When I think of my future, I rejoice. For whenever I come to you, Lord, you fill me with strength, and I feel your powerful hand when you stretch out your arm to me. Fear goes away, frustrations and any thoughts of failure. I know that you give me the freedom to decide, but I also know that you act within me and guide me on my way. Guide me, Lord, on my way, on the path to follow. For these and many other reasons, I thank you. For you have given me your love and mercy, as well as peace and the assurance that you, Lord, have considered this request that I humbly make to you. Amen. Prayer for Christmas, O Lord, you do not know the joy that I feel because today I can be with my family in this great celebration where we will celebrate the coming of your son Jesus. Finally, it's time for prayer and family to remember the moment when you sent your son to wash away our sins. For this reason, Father, Today we can say that we are free from any stain of original sin. Today we want to give you infinite thanks for Jesus, a man who demonstrated with his presence on earth about your divine existence. For this reason, his name is worthy of our praise. We ask you, beloved Father, as we prepare for this great celebration, Bless our lives and let there be no lack of bread on our table or anywhere else. Fill us with your powerful grace, and may your blessing be transferred to our home as we celebrate and announce the life of our only and magnificent Savior. We thank you in the name of our Lord Jesus, kneeling before the manger. We give thanks. Greater and more glorious than men, he is coming in the arms of Mary. Alongside the sheep and the shepherds amazed at the shining star. The angels adore him, and Joseph accepts him into his heart. For the king of heaven and earth has arrived. He is a king born in a poor stable, his earthly parents are of humble origin. But they are full of love and will not forget your glory at this moment when God blessed them with his grace. They represent the ideal family, the one we should take as an example for our lives. Almighty Lord, pour upon us the light of the new incarnate word. 
May the faith of this beautiful mystery be founded in our hearts so that we may joyfully celebrate the birth of our Savior Jesus. First of all, we thank you for everything we have achieved, as well as for our failures, as this has meant a lesson and has allowed us to continue. Thank you, Lord, for your love poured out on us by giving us your Son. Thank you, Jesus for sacrificing for us and for spreading your love throughout the world. For showing the great love of the Almighty Father, for showing that we are happier in giving than in receiving. Thanks. World to take care of Jesus and Mary, thank you God the Father for giving us this night of peace. This night of love and reconciliation. Bless us with your great kindness and prepare us to receive Jesus in our hearts. Prayer for a new year with health, Lord, I know that my plans cannot be fulfilled if I succumb to any illness. For I will not be able to be at my faculties at 100%. That is why I humbly come to you asking, Lord, that you bring me health in this new year that begins. For you. Lord, there is no impossibility, so I ask for my health, I ask for the health of all those around me. Especially my family. Here I wish that you protect them from all harm. I know the power of your protective mantle. I know that it is the best remedy, for it does not cure. It prevents. Please, Lord, Break the chains of any illness that would hold us back and whoever is suffering from any illness today. Heal with your powerful hands. I ask you, Lord, to walk beside me, let me be one of those who have chosen the path of transformation and healing. Both in body and in spirit. Help me, Lord, so that I can have access to excellent medical treatment, if I need it and that it can be effective. I am confident that you can work a miracle of healing in my life. I know that for you there is no impossibility, but I also know that we humans must face the diseases inherited in the world. That is why I come to you to keep me healthy and not let illnesses bring me down. Therefore, I raise my cry to you, bless my life, myself and my loved ones, cover us. Lord, with your powerful mantle and let us work this year in good health, for prosperity and happiness in our home. For your love is infinite, for whoever raises a prayer to you is protected and saved. May health always be with me, may I be able to fulfill my plans for a new year. May I be healthy enough to support my family, may I be healthy enough to support my life. May I be healthy enough to consecrate myself to you. And thank you very much, my Father, for every day in my life. Prayer for protection and well-being, first of all. Lord, I thank you for the beautiful gift of life, for all the blessings with which you have rewarded me. You, Lord, who bless me every day with the love of my family and showing your great kindness and generosity. Thank you for giving me more than I need. Before the start of a new year, I put each of my dreams and projects in your hands, Lord. Guide me, show me the right path. Dear God, if I have to face... Don't let those who have stressed me out affect me in any way. I thank you Lord because I understand that you have a better purpose for me. Thank you for taking the time to bless me every day, you never abandon me, so I can continue to move through life. Dear God, in this new year, I leave my struggles, desires, needs, and all my deepest secrets in your hands. Protect all my dreams and allow them to come true, as long as it is in accordance with your will. The first thing I want to say is thank you for the privilege of living, both for myself and my family. We pray to you for our needs and dreams and ask that you remain by our side. 
Lord, bless my home. Work, and projects, and provide abundance and prosperity. Guide my steps and grant me many more years of life to dedicate to you and glorify you. Almighty and merciful God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the beginning and end of all things, Sovereign of all that is on earth and in heaven. We humbly implore you to clothe us with your armor. Give us your light, fill our lives with light and blessings so that we can always enjoy your peace. At this moment, we ask you, Father, to protect us with your arms and shield us from evil, so that no harm may come to us. We believe in your power, your word, and your glory, and we trust in your unconditional guidance. I humbly ask you, Lord, to enlighten me and remove anything that torments me, and to remove any obstacles from my path. Dangerous shadows, save me from all evil. And when directed at me, break the chains that keep me captive, so that I may dedicate myself to you and do your holy will. O my Lord and Redeemer! I come to you with my soul full of confidence, for I trust in the favors that I obtain through you. I pray for your great power and your infinite mercy. Throughout my life, I have been privileged to be one of the souls that are cared for with such diligence. Thanks to your great power, I was able to endure the difficulties that I had to go through. When your hand touches me, the divine and omnipotent power is perceived. All these kindnesses will serve for your greater glory. Lord, I want to achieve my goals in the next year. For that, I need your protection. To begin with these blessings. Deliver me from evil and keep me under your wings. Keep evil away from me, no matter where I am. You will always be by my side and will always be my protector who faces all evils. Every day, your love and your faithfulness will be with me. I thank you for your unconditional help. I also entrust my family to you, Lord. Cover them with your mantle and let your word come to life so that they may be free from all danger from the malicious enemy. Individually, I ask you for my current or future spouse, so that you may keep them. Lord, please allow my spouse to prosper so that we can lay the foundations of our future. Keep the Lord close to their heart so that their eyes and lives are focused on you. Provide them with a pure heart so that their salvation and eternal life are guaranteed. Lord, I ask you to use your right hand to impress strength in me so that I can keep my house and my family with integrity and honor. Come with your power to solve what is difficult for me so that I can find the right solution. This will be the testimony of my faith, for you, Lord, are the only defender who saves me. I also want to entrust my children to you, both those who are born and those who are yet to come. You, Lord, will be the most powerful influence in their lives. Lord, make sure that in this new year, they are surrounded by your love. Put your spirituality into their daily lives. Keep them away from all evil and keep them on the path of righteousness. Keep them in a bubble with which they will be protected. Lord, I ask you to lend your angels to act in your name in any dangerous situation. Do not let any evil be present. Allow us to remain in faith and blind trust in you. May we not fall into temptation, and may your convictions not be affected by external influences. Teach them the right path to you, so that they may invoke your name, so that they may take refuge in you. And know, Lord, that no one can ever stain the love that you instill in them for you. In the name of God and His Son Jesus Christ. Amen.
I approach you in prayer, my loving and powerful Father. The day has just begun, and I seek your presence with deep faith in your love and purpose. I rise with the sun to pray and seek you. Bowing before you once again with the profound belief that you will help me in this request. Lord. I seek you, open your hands to me, giving me everything I need according to your perfect will. I pray to you, Lord, seeking your benevolence, hoping that you will hear my prayers. I will proclaim your deeds as Psalm 145 says, You open your hand and satisfy the desires of every living thing. Incline your ear to us, and thank you, my God. I ask you, Lord, to give me your abundance, both material and spiritual, so that I may find your grace in every hour. Let your love surprise me, Lord, and help me to have everything I need so that nothing is lacking in my household. You are my shield, protecting me, managing my finances, and providing the source of my sustenance. I cry out to you with great faith because you always listen to me. Nothing will defeat me if you are with me. Therefore, I believe that you will give me what I need, food, clothing, money, everything that I need. Thank you, Father, for providing me with everything. My family has no material or any other needs because you sustain us, hold our hands and keep us from falling into poverty or touching it. The powerful hand is upon us to keep the need out of our lives. I am not afraid of tomorrow because you help me move forward, and you are my sustenance and my rock. I declare Psalm 144, You reach down your hand to save me from the enemy and to deliver me from the hand of the oppressor. You give me what I need, and your gifts abound in me. You give me the wisdom to earn my living and to know what I should do. To have ideas and make my uncertain projects that multiply my earnings, my God, my beloved Father. I ask for spiritual abundance. Lord, I desire that your presence never leave me, that every day you are by my side, my heart rejoices, let us sing psalms to your name. I am blessed by you, full of blessings and grace. For your hand supports me, you cover me with your wings, I proclaim Psalm 37, you sustain me, in you my faith is deposited, O beloved God. My spirit is expanded, the Holy Spirit rests upon me, your power fills me with hope, nothing evil can touch me. Therefore my house and I will be well. I pray to you, Lord, with strength and faith, for you encourage me when I falter. Nothing can overcome me. My table is plentiful, I can share with others, you do not deprive me of anything. You have given me everything I ask for, everything according to your purpose for my life. I am not afraid of tomorrow, for you are the provider. In Psalm 57 it says that you send help from heaven. And it favors me with your love, because you love your children with tender courage, you protect them. So your children will never be in need, for you are everything, beloved God. My worries go away. For when I pray to you, I know that you hear me. I have no doubts, I live in abundance of peace and tranquility, I have everything I desire. The Lord gives me the purpose of my life, my family always gets what it needs. You protect us from the enemy, from the devourer who destroys finances, from every demon assigned to cause misery. From evil spirits that seek to destroy the children of God. Thank you, Lord for protecting us, for on this day, I know that I will end up victorious, nothing can defeat me. I believe in you and in the power of your love. 
There is no defeat for those who believe in you, for those who put their faith in you, O Almighty God. Thank you, my Father, Amen. Prayer to Receive Miracles My beloved God, I know that you are all-powerful, therefore, I have great faith in you, Lord. My soul proclaims your name. My heart is moved to be in your presence, for you do not abandon me. You always stay by my side, so I sincerely pray to you without ceasing today, seeking you in this distressing situation. I come with my prayer since the beginning of my day, for I know that, like the sun, you bring me new light, a new opportunity. And I ask you, Lord my God, for a powerful miracle in this circumstance that befalls me. Lord, place the situation and its problem before you, and I ask you, Lord, to save me from it. For in my humanity, I cannot save myself from this trap. Your power saves me from the abyss, no matter how difficult the problem may be. Help me, Lord, in this difficult moment. For only in you do I have my faith. I believe, my beloved Father, your word proclaims great miracles in Psalm 139. It says that your works are wonderful, your power is great, you do great things. Just as you parted the Red Sea, just as Christ walked on water, just as Christ rose on the third day, so the Holy Spirit will work in me. My life will calm the storms, heal the wounds, move mountains, and raise up those who are distressed. Thank you, my beloved God, for hearing me from your throne. I declare a miracle in my life and in the lives of my loved ones. I do not believe in the threats of the enemy. This problem will not defeat me, for you are with me, and your power resides in me. No matter what happens, even if evil tries to overwhelm me, your powerful hand will not be moved. Please continue to protect me, Lord, so that I do not become discouraged or harmed by Satan and his hosts. Your works are wonderful, and everything declares your power and glory. I see your hand in the sunrise and the beauty of the sky, so I know that my day is in your hands. May I take refuge under your shadow. Nothing can harm me by your side, even when I am weak in my humanity. Like a precious stone, you hold me up. I cry out to you with strength, knowing that you will rescue me from any situation, no matter how complicated. You send help from the heavens, and your armies defend me, creating a wall around me, as in Psalm 9. I speak of your wonderful works with all my heart. I love you, my Father. I praise you every hour of this day. My words reach you like a pleasant offering. For my faith remains in you. Beautiful Creator God, I seek your presence at this moment. I ask that you take me out of these problems, for I know that you will answer my requests. Tell me your plea now, for you love your children. Lord, rescue me from the pit, the mire, and the acts of the evil one, who is the enemy of our souls. Nothing shall harm me, for I am watched over by you. You are with me on my right side, my left side, above and below me. When I wake up, when I go home, when I prepare to rest, I know that you are with me. I have no doubts, even when everything is dark and the storm is coming. I know that you will lift me up and calm the cold waters, pushing away the dark clouds, so that I may always be safe. You will perform this miracle, and I have no doubts, my Father. I will sing of all your greatness, like in the Psalms. I will bear witness to your omnipotence. Thank you, dear God, 
for I know that everything will happen as I ask, for there is no doubt in my soul. My spirit rejoices, becoming stronger with your power. For you are my refuge, the place that gives me peace in the midst of all circumstances. Your angels are around me, covering me and protecting me. Evil cannot overtake me, nothing can surpass me, I am only blessed, full of your grace and your gifts. Today will be a victorious day for me, as I proclaim your holy name and will never cease to seek you. The sun rises like a promise, and I thank you for hearing my prayers. Amen. Prayer for general well-being, my powerful Father, your magnanimous power is upon me. I ask that you always keep me in good health, expel all evil from my life with your power. Lord, I ask that you help me with your shield, that you guard me from demons and evil that seek to harm me and my family. Send your angels, Lord, to care for me. My guardian angel is always with me, guiding my steps in a good path. Lord, keep your eyes on me so that I do not stray to the left or to the right. Do not let me fall into any trap, nor let any problem steal my peace. Keep me focused and calm so that my soul may rest in your arms, close to your kingdom. I follow the words of David's Psalms, where your powerful throne is in heaven. Dear God, hear my prayer. Free me from storms so that nothing can affect my life, whether at home or at work. Wherever I am, may you be at my right hand, as Psalm 139 says, behind and before me. You know my desires and dreams, even those I have not yet declared aloud. Lord, guide me wherever I may be. Your power follows me everywhere, your light shines around me. You know what I need so that I can advance in my purpose, protect me from evil. I adore you because you are wonderful, and I know that you will always bring a solution. I am not afraid of difficult situations or afflictions, and so I glorify you, Lord. My body is full of health, nothing can harm me, neither viruses nor other pathogens, for the blood of Jesus Christ protects me. I can walk in peace without fear all the time. Diseases do not afflict me, every part of my body is protected. I am full of your vitality, thanks to you, Lord, for taking care of me and my possessions. The finances of my household are in your hands, and you protect my economy. No action of the enemy can affect me. I am searching for a solution to my problems, and you give me wisdom. You always sustain me to follow the right path. I'm not afraid of life's hardships because I can learn from them, as in Psalm 28. You give me strength, and in the midst of every circumstance, you feed me and take care of me. You bring me peace in a resting place where love and peace surround me. Every hour of my day is blessed, and your grace goes with me everywhere. Your light covers me. When I am weary, you give me rest. I am certain of your unchanging, unfailing love, as Psalm 107 says. When I cry out to you, you quickly answer and rescue me from all evil, filling me with blessings and providing all I need. So, the first thing I do when I wake up, Lord, is seek you before the sunrise. I come to you with deep faith, declaring my love. You hear me and save me from my enemies, those seen and unseen. I proclaim your great works and declare your greatness, for nothing is above you. My victory is indisputable, and my well-being is constant because you are always with me and above me. Thank you, my dear and powerful God. 
Nothing will discourage me, as my spirit is at rest, my body is healthy, my finances are protected, and my home is guarded by your angels. I declare the love of your name and never tire of praying to you, always patiently waiting for your gaze upon me. Meanwhile, I maintain my faith and cherish every day of victory that you provide, thanking you, my Father. I will never tire of worshipping and praising you every day and every one of your works. I rise and lie down with you in your loving presence. Thank you, my God. Amen.